What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to talk about how you can actually gain 400 black cards by completing the new questionnaire and by completing the new bingo event that the PGR dev team has generously gave to us. So the first thing is you'd actually come over here and you would actually click on the questionnaire right here. Now I'm just actually going to pull up the link for you. This is the same thing. It'll give you a link. You can actually go straight to this. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to plug in your ID to make sure that you're going to get the black cards. Now you're going to get 150 black cards for this. And you, of course, answer your questions honestly. And please enter your in-game and questionnaire, which we've already done. And it'll be distributed after 14 working days of its final collection. So it's going to be a little bit before you get these black cards. But still, it's free black cards. So we really don't really care, right? So I got my ID right here, and your ID is in the upper left-hand corner right here, for those of you that don't know. And then what is your current combat level in PGR? Mine's actually over 60, so we'll click on that. And what is your overall satisfaction level towards PGR? Now, full disclosure, my friends, I'm very biased towards this game. I'm pretty much going to give it thumbs up pretty much for almost everything because I really don't find a whole lot wrong with the game, at least as far as I'm concerned, uh, so far. So uh, I would say a 5. I got to give it a five. I would, I'm would. i extremely satisfied with the game. I really don't have any complaints. How do you feel about the following aspects of PGR? Uh, how do I feel about it? And five being extremely satisfied. Character design, we're going five. Scenario and story. Um, you know what? I'm going to give it a four only because I'd like to see some more like... Uh, like character animation development like uh like right now we just see a picture of the characters when they're telling the story but i'd like to actually see some animations that would be pretty cool maybe some voiceovers that'd be really nice uh game content and systems actually i'm i'm pretty happy with it i'm pretty happy with it for the most part uh battle experience that's definitely a five uh art style definitely a five visual effects definitely a five Audio effects, definitely five. The music in this game is absolutely amazing. I know, I know. I'm biased to sell. I can't help it. How do you feel about the character design of PGR? Well, I mean, personality. Well, as far as their personality, I would like to be. I would like them to be a little bit more flushed out. I'm currently. I'm just in story mode eight twelve, and right now I'm just farming a bunch of serum. So that's all the further I've got. But I do love the story. But as far as personality, I would like them to be a little bit more flushed out. Their appearance, I definitely going to give a five. Control game feel, definitely a five. Man, it's amazing. Combat balance. Uh, I feel it's actually really good. I actually feel it's really good. There's a lot of skill involved in this game. How do you feel about the scenario and story of PGR? I, I feel like we're getting asked the same things over and over here. Uh, well, uh, world background setting. Um, well, I mean, you know, I'll give it a four. Uh, character depiction. Um, I will give it a four. The atmosphere, I'll, I'll give it a four, right? I'll give it all fours right here. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about the game content systems of PGR? Uh, energy recovery event. Uh, I'll give it a two. Resources stages. I actually give the resource stages a, a four because I do think they're really good, but I do think we have to use a whole lot of serum to get resources. I, I, I think we could it either they could drop the amount of serum that we use or just give us more serum throughout the day. Phantom Pain Cage is freaking awesome. We're going with five. Warzone, I think are awesome. I think these game modes are absolutely amazing just the way they are. Memory Rescue is actually like, for me, I love it at this point, but I think over time I'd probably end up putting this at a four or a three. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a four right now because I'm kind of indecisive on really what I want to do. I'm not going to give it a five because you play it once, you get your, you know, memories from it and everything, you get your black cards, and then you're kind of done. Unless you just you like it for that replay value to jump in there. And, and I do like replaying it again, actually. Uh, the Golden Vortex, I haven't played it at all, so I'm just going to give it an okay I haven't even played it because, I'm, again, I'm just using all my serum for the event right now. Uh, co-op, uh, I'm going to give co-op a one. Close. Dormitory, I'll give it a two. I really don't like the dorm that much, but it's it's not that bad. Uh, how do you feel about the battle experience of PGR? Okay, here we go. Uh, signal orb system um, is awesome. Stage difficulty, awesome. Battle motion, awesome. Battle and visual effects, now... I'm going to give it a four. The only reason I'm giving this a four is because sometimes when you're looking at the screen, especially like me, I like to use the melee characters a lot. There's so much going on. It's really difficult to see what's happening. And this is really a problem that a lot of games have. But I mean, honestly, it, it, it's such a, it's so beautiful when you play this game. It's so clean and smooth, but I, I, I got to give it a four because I do feel like sometimes it is kind of convoluted and everything that you're seeing. 
How do you feel about the visual effects of PGR? 2D portraits, uh, five. 3D models, uh, five. Map design, I mean, I play on a emulator, so map design is actually quite easy. And I've also played on my phone quite a bit, and I, I, I feel like it's actually really good. Actually, I'm gonna I'm give it a five. I actually think it's, it's perfect just the way it is. Uh, the UI button interfaces, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, five fives, I know, I know. How do you feel about the audio effects of PGR? Okay, okay. Uh, character voice is perfect. BGM is perfect. Battle sound effects is perfect. Uh, which of the following issues have you encountered while playing PGR? Uh, performance issues? No, not really. No, I've never experienced crashing. Nothing like that. Overheating? No, not really. Play on emulator again. Uh, connection? I haven't had any really any problems with that. Uh, I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, the only the only problem I've ever had is every once in a while. I would like right after the update we'd get a little bit of lag so i would just put uh other there and then uh that's about it and here i mean really the thing for me that's affected uh the game the most at least like in a, in a negative way is that uh the amount of serum we get and i'm just gonna put it should be a little bit more I know, I know, I'm a slow typer. And then we scroll down to how did you learn about PGR? Uh, actually, I learned about PGR from another YouTuber is actually where, I guess, I mean, social media, but really other, actually. And uh, yeah, and uh, from a YouTuber, and actually the YouTuber was Snow, um, and she actually covers a game called KOF, which is another game that I cover. And I actually saw her playing it one day, and I was like, oh my god, this is a beautiful game before it was ever even released on Global. Uh, which device platform have you been playing PGR? Uh, we're playing on an emulator. Uh, which emulator have you been playing on? We're playing on Moo Moo. Uh, where or how do you usually discuss PGR-related content? Uh, I discuss it on YouTube. Um, I discuss it in Discord. And uh, I don't really discuss on Twitter, but I, I do have a Twitter account there, and I do check out what's going on over there. But I don't really chat in there. Uh, 17, what sort of PGR-related content do you usually discuss on these platforms? I mean, really, like, uh, everything. I mean, really. I mean, this is a YouTube channel that covers this game, so yeah, everything. Uh, when you encounter issues in PGR, getting stuck in stages due to insufficient understanding of mechanics, can I beat a stage? How do you usually solve such issues? <laughs> I do try to solve it myself. I mean, I, I, that is always my first go-to. I do try to solve it myself, but I would be lying if I said that I don't search guys online. I absolutely do. Uh, there's amazing guys out there from Rexland who are amazing shot there, Rexland, who are absolutely amazing at playing this game. And, and I would advise anybody to watch those players because they, they've been playing it for so long. I mean, they've been playing on the CN version. They've been for the over the past year so they got a lot of experience they know what's up man so i think it'd be silly not to watch them especially if you're a global player um uh, i simply live with the issue <laughs> that's pretty funny which of the following platforms have you played on the last month uh pc and actually mobile actually a little bit which of the following console pc games have you played uh definitely devil may cry i definitely know dark souls and witcher near automata i want to play i know the game i want to play it uh a2 love you girl but um, I, I haven't played it. I'm well aware of the game, which we will be getting collab long in the future, I believe. But yeah, Assassin's Creed. I have played a little Assassin's Creed. I mean, uh, not a lot, but I have played a little bit. I definitely know Scarlet Nexus. Definitely know God of War. I mean, I really know all of these games, but I haven't played a lot of them. Uh, really just others, uh, you know, like, uh, I mean, uh, Call of Duty. Uh, let's see. We'll just put, you know, Titanfall. Uh, you know, and uh, we'll just put uh, Tekken. I know, I know. Tekken's a fighting game, but I did play the living hell out of that game. Uh, and then which of the following types of mobile games have you played in the last month? Uh, mobile games that I played in the last month? RPG, definitely. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, gambling, yeah. Definitely. Okay, and then which of the following anime style games have you played before? I never played any of the, let me look here, let me look here. I wouldn't mind playing Honkai Impact. I think that game looks freaking awesome, but I'm so swamped with games right now. 
it's difficult to keep up with what I'm doing already, but I, re I really would like to check out that game. Uh, let's see. Definitely aware of Seven Deadly Sins, but I never played it. Uh, I know, guys. I know I'm terrible, right? I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Really? I mean, the only others, like, uh, as far as games that I'm playing is, you know, Kofas, uh, you know, uh, Marvel Future Fight, uh, or mobile games that I do play. And then we get to, uh, where do you currently reside? Where do I currently reside, huh? Uh, Southeast Asia. And then, uh, which country region do you live in? Please select. Okay, so we're going into the V's here. Let's go into the V's. We gotta get all the way down to the bottom here. We're gonna get there. This takes a long time. Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm probably gonna pass it up. Nah, no, I'm not gonna pass it up. And there we are, Vietnam. Uh, what is your gender? Well, I'm a male last time I checked. Uh, if you would like to have a future contact with BGR team, you could leave your email address here, which I'll go ahead and put here, but I will kind of, I will blank it out. So, uh, you know, that way you guys don't see my email. And then please share with us your expectations or suggestions for PGR. Each feedback is important for us to enhance the game better. I mean, I think the game is pretty much perfect for the most part. Really, my only biggest complaint for the game is I just want more serum through the day. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, man. I just like a little bit more serum. Uh, so, you know, just, uh, just a bit more serum every day. Uh, to really help with farming because man you run out of serum so fast then you go ahead and submit that sucker and it's done and then the next thing we have and that's going to help you and that's going to get you 150 black cards you know after a 14 day period and then we have this here which is like the the bingo event now here's the bingo event right here i'll put the link in the description below as far as you uh, going to this page but all you gotta do is complete all these things they're actually very very easy it's not really a big deal at all i believe one of these is going to ask for the most memorial day which is going to be 0716 which is the actual release date of the game and then the rest of this is actually pretty damn easy you won't be able to do the meme lord ascension which is funny or the join video contest or vote fan art because those aren't into play yet but once you finish all these you do have a chance of getting 250 black cards once you complete all these then you should be able to get those 250 black cards which is pretty awesome that's pretty damn cool that you can be able to do this you can actually scroll down here you can read all of this text if you don't learn any more they show the events right here and then you have the video contest which again you know isn't ready to go but you're gonna have to make a video you join this make a video upload it and yeah just do all these things if you're trying to get some extra black cards i mean why not right it's free uh I mean, 400 black cards is pretty nice. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. It's going to give you one extra pull, which is always nice. Every little bit helps, whether you're pulling for a weapon or whether you're pulling for a character. Then you have the fan art contest, which you can actually join here. Everything's in the link as far as, you know, going to the fan art, doing the video, all of it. It's, it's pretty simple. I mean, you're just going to hit join, and then you can load up whatever fan art, load up whatever video that you have available to you. So something that I want to point out really quick is uh, for your memories, for your characters, you're going to want to have, especially for Alpha, you're going to have these four patents, and then you're going to want to have two Darwin memories. Now, you get the first Darwin memory for slot one, actually from the memory rescue, but you're actually going to get another Darwin for slot four. You're going to want a Darwin memory for the slot two. Now, how can you get that? Well, you can actually get it a couple different ways, and the first way is you can actually buy this little pack that actually gives you the uh, memory, this pack right here, where you pay 34 rainbow cards, about $6. You'll get 340 black cards, and you'll get 140 of these six-star memory shard cards. And these are what you can use to actually queue up a six-star memory, a Darwin memory. So we go down here, and you're going to want to slot two Darwin memory. Let me see if I can find it really quick. So slot two Darwin memory, 150 of these babies. So that's one way you can do it, but you can actually do it a free to play way. It's just something pretty awesome that the game has done. Uh, whenever you go like in here, you go to the frozen darkness events, 
You can actually see they're going to give you 50 of those babies right here when you use 3500 region HE4s, right? And that's what you're going to use to get your uh, memories or shards for Kamoi or whatever other resources in the shop. And you'll get 50 here, and then when you use 5500, you'll get 50 more. That's 100. And then when you use 7500, you'll get another 50. So that's 150 of these items that you can actually get your Darwin slot to memory for free which is pretty damn awesome. That's just something I wanted to point out about this event that I think is absolutely spectacular. So let me know how y'all feeling about all these events, getting these free black cars, and also the fact that you're able to actually get a free memory, a free Darwin memory for your alpha. I think that's absolutely amazing. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus seven time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching y'all. Take care and have a good one. See ya.